Get over here! What's going on, artists and art lovers out there? We are back again with another drawing video, and we are starting off a new art series with Scorpion, the infamous Mortal Kombat character. And yes, we are doing a Mortal Kombat series this month, so definitely prepare for more of that. And um, with this piece, or with this series, actually, I'm taking a different approach to how I'm starting these drawings and sort of taking a step back from the vectorized images with the really bold lines and, you know, sort of aiming towards realism and stepping away from the cartoonish uh, illustrative look. And another reason why I'm doing this is because in the past, I've spoken to other artists and showed them my work and they've always wondered why I I draw on top of another drawing like they they'll sort of have something to say about me drawing or redrawing another drawing and um I believe that you're pretty much taking the same steps to create the image you want me personally I start from traditional media and work my way into digital. I don't like starting digital and finishing digital just because I feel like you risk actually losing your art by doing that. Um, I feel like you minimize that risk by starting your pieces traditionally just because if something ever happens to your iPad or your software, or whatever, at least you have that tangible piece of work to reference from or at least for keepsake, you know what I mean? So that's sort of why I'll start, you know, traditional media, keep that as an original, and then work my way into digital work. But like I said, I've been speaking and interacting with other artists and they've sort of like thrown that in my face. Like, oh, well, I actually start my images from Procreate and finish them. And, and I'm like, that's great. That's also you know, your your way of doing things. And I, I respect that and I'm not going to change my method, but I will experiment and sort of step out of my comfort zone just to not prove, not to be spiteful about it, but just to sort of like, you know, show these people what you got, you know? But yeah, that's sort of why I'm just drawing everything and procreate from start to finish. Um, I'm not trying to like prove anything, but I, I'm I'm sort of am at the same time, and uh, yeah. And for other artists out there, if especially if you're just getting started and you're sort of trying to figure out what your style is and just just stick to your guns, man. Just stick to whatever formula you use to come up with your images and and build upon that and work on that and you know, sort of make sure that becomes better and improves over time instead of just changing your method completely. And I always feel like artists do that just because they want to meet a certain standard and it's it just it just ends up lowering the quality of their work it just makes it look super mediocre and makes it makes it look like everybody else's and i feel like part of you being unique is you just coming up with your own style and you not falling into this paradigm that other artists are falling into and that's sort of what's happening in the industry I'm, I'm just starting to notice there's a lot of uh, like trends and a lot of common things you might see people draw, but that's a, that's a topic for another video. This is mainly just to, um, yeah, just like I said, just stepping out of my comfort zone, and trying something new. Now, if you feel like you need to evolve as an artist a bit, then maybe you should experiment with other art styles and use that as a way to improve your artwork and not so much 
doing it just because you want to prove something. You know what I mean? I feel like every artist should experiment and have a few projects they're working on that they're not afraid to just fuck up. <laughs> and And once you have enough of those then you start to um, just figure out what works and what doesn't. And then you, you, keep, you keep going, you know, you keep building upon that and you start new pieces and you sort of apply the things that work and omit the things that don't. But um, I'm definitely trying to aim towards realism just because I, I like drawing portraits and stuff like that. So hopefully in the future, I'll be able to actually... Um, go completely realistic. Anyways, this is about the end of the video here. And um, if you like my content and want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be posting, uh, uploading, sorry, once a week. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. And once again, guys, thanks for watching and supporting my channel. And make sure you hit that like button or you'll get a knock on the door from this guy. Fatality. Take care.